What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your man Chukubuikem Ogwa and we're here to talk about Stable Diffusion Extra Large Turbo, which is literally the first real-time image generation uh, software that we've had in AI thus far. And it's very exciting to have this because that would mean that you can actually tweak the images that you're creating as you're creating them, which makes this takes this to a whole nother level. But I do want to let it be known since I have such a terrible GPU, I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 6 gigabyte GPU. Um, it does the job, but this is definitely not the GPU that you would really want for something like this. This will not provide as fast and as good as results as a person with an RTX 4080, right? Like you can't expect the same, oh, TI, right? Um, 16 gigabytes. So you can't really expect the same type of performance but it will do the job and so I do ask you guys to bear with me a little bit because it's not going to be as real time but what you're going to see immediately is that you won't need to click Q prompt every time it will automatically keep running the prompt that you're trying to create for the image which is super exciting now before we get into this I would like to let you know that one of the actual employees or rather the lead QA at stability AI did release the video where he actually goes really in depth about how you can use um, SDXL and another great youtuber who works with AI his name is Olivio Sarikas he also talked about SDXL and I guess now it's your boy's turn so I'm gonna have some fun with this understand that it is a little limited it's only 512 by 512 so any wide screen images you're not going to get and also understand that it's in its it's still in like its beginner phases according to Scott it's more about research than it is um, about you know actual use just yet so there's gonna be some limitations with this all but hey I mean it's not gonna limit us from having some fun so let's go and let's get into this now before we officially get started you do also need to know that your comfy UI needs to be up to date so make sure that you update this bad boy and if you don't know how to update it for many of you you can just come to manager and you're literally going to click update comfy UI then you're gonna restart comfy UI and you should have the updated version of comfy UI pretty much now the first thing you're going to need just to get SDXL turbo is the model itself so what you would do is that you're gonna come here click files and versions and you're gonna download the SDXL F FP16 safe tensors, right? So you're gonna download that. So now that we have the SDXL Turbo downloaded, we're gonna come into Comfy UI and wherever you have Comfy UI downloaded, and you're gonna get into Comfy UI Windows Portable, you're gonna get into Comfy UI, then you're gonna get into Models, then you're gonna get into Checkpoints, and all you're gonna do is that you're gonna just copy this, or you can cut it, you know, or you can move it over to this folder right here. Then you just paste it. I put control V and as you can see it's copying it into that folder perfect and now that is copied if you already had comfy UI running all you have to do is come over here and click refresh and then when you click on load checkpoint you would see SDXL turbo here which you would you know then click on to make this happen so now we move forward so you're gonna start off a little bit like normal what you're gonna do is that you're gonna make your prompt your text encoders your positive and your negative that's normal but then you're going to use a sampler, but a custom sampler. And all you would have to do is double click here. You're going to type in sampler custom right there. And then once you bring that up, you're going to connect a checkpoint to that model. And again, like normal, you would connect, you know, one to positive, the text encoders. You would connect one to positive, one to negative. Oh, and actually, by the way, you won't even be using negatives in this. You do need a negative but you won't be using a negative. So you can pretty much collapse it, but uh, you know, you just leave it here. But like I said, you won't need it. So now that you have the model, the positive and the negative connected, you now have to connect the sampler. And what you're gonna do here is that you're actually going to make it a K sampler, okay? A K sampler and the sampler you're gonna use in this is DPMPP underscore 2M and it's gonna be a K sampler select, all right? So now that you have that, you're gonna need sigmas now. Sigmas are interesting because this is when you'll know whether or not you're actually going to need to update your comfy UI again. So what you're going to need to do, you're going to have to come here and then search for SD Turbo Scheduler. If you don't have it, you got to update this bad boy. If you don't update it, you're going to be in big trouble. This won't work and I feel bad for you. So once you have the SD Turbo Scheduler, you're going to put that again wherever you want. It doesn't really matter, but you're going to connect it to the Sigma is my fault right here. Now that you have your turbo scheduler connected, you are you are going to leave it at one. And lastly, when it comes to latent image here, you're going to use a standard um, empty latent image of 512 by 512. 
So then you put that bad boy right here, or again, wherever you would like, it doesn't matter, but we're just trying to stay organized here. And then you're gonna want a VAE code, so you're gonna just take that right here, make a little VAE code, right? And then you're gonna take the VAE from the checkpoint all the way over to the code, and then you're going to make uh, an image right here, and now you're going to use preview image if you use save image then each image that gets generated will get saved into your folder which is what you don't want you just want to be able to see the images and then make your decisions from there but if you want every single image that gets generated then you can use save image and they would all get saved into your folder do what you'd like preview image will be more than good enough and i'll show you how you know so many images are being made and just the excitement of all of this anyway now the bulk of the model is set up and there are now some settings that you're going to want to tweak because if you don't tweak these settings you'll get something like this let's try something chill and natural like a large dog right you can cue that prompt oh I forgot you got to make sure that you get this model connected to SD turbo scheduler right here remember that and so now we have a large dog you're gonna cue that prompt and you know it's gonna go through everything you can see where it's green is highlighted so it's going through it and you know like I said earlier I have a slower GPU, so things take a little bit longer. So now it goes through this bad boy and you're going to see the preview image is going to be a rather large dog, but wait, hold on. It's so it's, it's, it got deep fried. The picture is so crispy and burnt and just all that. So what you have to do next is set the CFG to one. Once you've done that, you'll be good. So we're going to take this, set it to one, click okay. Then you can cue the prompt again and you will be good. You'll see that it's going to give me, there you go, a much clearer image of a nice large dog. So boom, now we have this large dog. And then what you would do next is that you're going to go to extra options. Make sure you click that open and then you're going to click auto cue. Okay. Auto cue is what's going to make this thing keep running, like just automatically run, 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 run. Perfect. That's what we want. So you're going to click cue prompt. And then it's going to start running over and over and over again. Now, you see, so we have the dog. It's going to keep running, keep running, keep running, which is perfectly fine. Now check this out, right? Now you can view the queue. So if you click here and click view the queue, right, you'll see, um, you know, running 16, 17. And then if you click view history, you'll see all the images running. And then if you click load, if you click load, like if I load 16, you'll see that it'll bring me back 16. Um, but it'll keep going. Let's see if it brings me back 18. You see, you see 18 is that nice dog right there. You see, I click it every time it goes back to that same dog, which is pretty cool. Now, another way that you can see that it's running is that in the terminal, you'll see um, that it keeps loading a new image right here. So it just keeps running, keeps running, keeps running, which is, this is just great technology. We're in 2023, people. Remember to drop a like and subscribe if I'm really helping you out. I really do appreciate it. This is awesome. So now, we go back to SDXL Turbo, and there's just so many more things that you could do with this. As you can see, we're getting some pretty good images. I can't even be mad at these images. These images are pretty good. Let me make this a little larger. You know, I'm getting, we're getting some pretty good images here. I can't really be too mad about it. Um, but you know, these are not the best images. They're still a little rough. Uh, what maybe if we typed in a large dog, photo, realistic, realistic is that how you spell it? So now that we're typed in photorealistic, so you can see now it gets a little bit clearer. Now, if you were to run this through like a refiner and a couple extra samplers, I am absolutely positive that you would get better pictures each time. And that's what Olivio did. And I thought that was really cool what Olivio did. And one thing that Scott did that was also really awesome was that he made like four of these. So you got like different versions of like the pictures that you're getting. So there's so many ways. Ooh, this is a nice dog. You kidding me? So there's just so many ways that you can expand upon this. And this is just the future of image generation. You know, no longer do you have to wait so many, so long to get a new image. You can literally just keep running and keep running it and adjusting it as we go. We can do one more adjustment since we're here. Um, red, let's make him red. Uh, let's make Clifford, you know, and see what we get. So it's, it's, it's currently compiling that. Let's see if it makes it red. Uh, ooh, nice, okay, it made it like a nice shade of red. I thought it was gonna make it more cartoonishly red. But um, yeah, it kind of made it more naturally red. I love that. And then if you want to stop the prompt, all you have to do is unclick auto cue and it will stop the prompting. So it'll chill out, relax, take a nap, and then we're pretty much done 
with SDXL Turbo. And that's Stable Diffusion XL Turbo. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Have a great day. Peace.